Hello guys, here's Graphite for another tutorial. In this new tutorial, I'll show you how to create a smooth zoom transition. So, let's get started. Here we are in After Effects. Let's create a new composition, 1920 by 1080. You can copy the settings if you like. We'll create another composition with the same settings and rename it Final Comp. Drag Comp 1 in Final Comp and lock it. Now, let's drag our video onto the timeline. Pre-compose the video and rename it Video 1 and press OK. Double-click on the pre-comp to make some changes on the video. No need to do the same for yours. OK now, let's create a null object. And rename it Scale. Parent the video 1 to the scale null layer. Let's add the effect motion tile. Change the value of the output width and output height to 250 and enable mirror edges. Come back to the scale layer. Enable the keyframes of the scale and display them as shown. At this point, I'm trying to figure out where is the right moment for the zoom to occur. Change the last scale keyframe to 60%. Let's easy ease the keyframes and go to the graph. Enable motion blur to add blur during the zoom. Drag another video to the timeline and as always, we'll pre-compose that. Rename it Video 2. Try to figure out the exact point you want the zoom to occur. It's very important. Copy the motion tile effect and paste it on video 2. Now, just follow the animation. You can hold shift and drag the graph, so that it should stay straight. Let's find now the good timing.
The more you spend time on an animation, the more it will be seamless. When you finally found your timing, let's drag video 3 to the timeline. And we'll repeat the same steps we've done before. Always pre-compose the video, it's very important because after, it will enables you to easily change the video without affecting the keyframes. Paste the motion tile effect on video 3. We'll create a null object. And rename it scale 2. We LL try to figure out the exact timing on which the zoom must occur. Don't forget about the keyframes. They must all have the same duration of time. Enable and display the keyframes as shown. Remember, everything must be in order and align. Parent video 2 to the null scale 2. Change the value to 60%. Reverse the keyframes. and easy ease them. As always, we will take a look at the graph. Try to find the where the zoom will occur. Edit the graph, if possible, to match the zoom. At this point, we'll try a zoom in transition.
Okay, done. Let's have a small look. Great. Create another null object and rename it scale 3. Enable the keyframes of the scale. Parent video 3 to scale 3. Drag and drop video 4 to the timeline. Easy ease the keyframes and go to the graph to edit. Oops. Oh sorry I forgot to change the value of the last keyframe to 150%. Or just just follow the animation and reverse the keyframes. Now we'll edit the graph. Paste the motion tile and animate the scale of video 4. Let's adjust and find a good timing for the zoom animation. Sorry for some lags. I don't have a powerful computer. Good. We finally found the good timing. We'll create our last scale null object. Just follow the last steps of the animation.
For this last video, we'll just animate the scale. Okay, good. Let's have a look. Perfect. For this last step, we'll add a film look. Create a black solid layer and rename it frame. Press Ctrl and double-click on the Rectangle tool to create a mask. Select the mask and press Ctrl plus T to show the transform lines. Maintain Ctrl and drag down the top line to the line of the action safe. Now just inverse the mask and we're done. We got now a nice looking film. Let's have a last look. Great job! Thanks for watching this tutorial. It was a pleasure. Hope you appreciate it. Like, share and don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming tutorials. It was Graphite. See you on the next tutorial.